today. I have the camera. Every day I hold a little bit of hope that he didn't make his stall that disgusting. Every day I'm wrong. Today, I have the camera. I'm doing stalls. I decided I would film like how I do it. Luna's been at the training place. So we have just Duke, Stevie, and Jack um, at home. So there's only three stalls to do. So it's pretty fast, but it is snowing and the ponies want to come in. So gotta do them a little fast today. So shall start. Okay, this is like too short. That is better. You can't see the floor though. I already did half of his stall, so what you see is pretty clean. Oh, actually, I can put it on the other side, though. To the other side. Go over top of this food bucket. You can see a bit more now. So that's what I still have to do. I'm gonna take off my jacket, though. I already have this half done, but I saw two little bits. In the winter, because it's cold and I don't want to take a lot of trips, we have the gator and I back it into the barn so that I can just open up the doors and throw it straight out. And then I just need to take one trip in the gator, maybe two, depends on how bad their stalls are. And by there, I mean like Jack's stall. But looking at all the stalls, I think it should only be one trip today. All their stalls are kind of different with the way I do it. With Dukes, oops, when the others one I'm doing are Dukes, I, the half by his food, I kind of check it quick for any pooper stuff. But it's normally clean because he doesn't go to the over here. And then I just, Check the middle, and normally it has pee all in the middle. So I just pick it up, and then if I think there's pee, I'll kind of flip it over so that I can like see the bottom. Because sometimes it's heavy and you think there's a lot of pee, but it's only like half of what you picked up. Just so you don't like waste any shavings or like miss anything. I do that. And then this half of the stall is usually pretty clean. Other half where he's where he is most of the night because of his hay feeders in the corner right there. Um, I just kind of search through this area because he likes to pee in the middle. Before he pees, he has to do a little head bob, so it gives him enough room to do that. And then I kind of just sort through this little area bit by bit and. Get rid of anything that I find. Typically, I get any like old hay out. If it's all mixed in with shavings, I'll just throw it out because then our horse will eat it. But if it's just in a pile underneath his hay feeder, lean but just on the floor, Duke won't eat it, but like Jack and Stevie will. So I just make sure there's no like shavings or anything in it. And as long as it's like clean and okay for them to eat, then I'll throw it to Jack or Stevie. And now I'm getting farther away from the camera. Turn it a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Now you can see the whole thing. Right around where my fork is, like all this area where the hay is, is normally just really dirty. I'm pretty much just picking up the whole thing. But on days like today, it's a little harder because there's hay in the way. So I have to take the hay off first because it might just be hay covering perfectly clean shavings. So I want to check that. And then sometimes, but not often anymore, he'll bury stuff right around here. So I move it every day. And some days I find nothing, and then days like today I'll find a little pile of poop. And sometimes I'll actually see it, like right there. My poop fork is broken and it's missing one of the little spikes. But that's the corner I use to like pick up tiny stuff. So every once in a while I'll 
still forget that it's not there anymore. And I'll draw a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just sorting through all of the hay now. And I know that there's poop in here, so I'm just scooping all of it up and throwing it over. Sometimes if Duke doesn't eat the hay, I'll give him it, I'll just put it back in the feeder. If it's like super clean, because he just doesn't like eating it off the floor. So he can have like a full flake of hay, not even touched, nowhere near anything. He could drop it while he's like eating it. And then he just won't eat it because it like touched the floor. But if you pick it back up and put it in the holder, then he'll eat it again. He just does not like his food touching the floor. I come in to fill Duke's water. He threw all of his hay on the ground, so he got it picked up. And because he didn't get any new hay, he's throwing a hissy fit. He was biting his stall. Oh, now he's eating. He's like, only because you're making fun of me, Kate. The poor baby. Unless it's his beet pulp. If that touches the floor and it's in a little pile, he'll eat that. It's not hay. When I'm done their stalls, Duke likes to walk around in his stall, so he'll just walk back and forth. So when I do his stall, I have to scrape um, all of his shavings up into the middle. So then he, when he walks, he like spreads it out like, and he spreads it out the way he needs it. Um, it's what works for him. I know that for other, like Stevie, that it wouldn't work um, because she doesn't taste in her stall. But for him it works because he likes walks in the middle of the night. He'll just wander in his stall. So, and then sometimes when I'm scraping it all up, I'll find little tiny bits that I missed and then I'll pick those up. Sometimes I pick them up as I see them. Sometimes I wait till the end and I, oh, that little hole. I'll leave it till the end, and then I'll pick them all up. Um, just because they're all right there, and I don't need to stop a bunch of times. But then, but I, if I think that they might get buried, then I'll pick them up. I like to clear out right underneath his water, and right underneath his feed dish. So sometimes he throws it on the floor. So I just make sure it's all clear and out of the way so that he can do that without accidentally getting shavings if he decides to eat it, because sometimes he doesn't. So I have to pick it up when I do his stall. He normally makes a mess in the morning rather than at night. But now everything is in the middle and it's like really deep, but he kicks it around, so. It's fine. And now, into this stall. We are in Stevie's stall now. When I do stalls, I also check if I um, need their water dumped. Sometimes they have a lot of hay in it. For Stevie's stall, hers is a bit different because she's very neat horse. She pees and poos in the exact same spot pretty much. There's just a little strip at the back of her stall that she'll go to the bathroom in. And only there. Like she will not go to the bathroom anywhere else. It's a little difficult to do her stall uh, since she does make a little mountain. You have to like take it piece by piece. I'd break my fork if I just went straight to the bottom because it's too heavy. Um, Bear, you're okay! Bear's locked up in the hay stall so that he can't 
come to the gator and like take some stuff out and like kind of get in my way. He was fine, but he's whining now because he feels he's been in there too long and he wants to go guard and protect. And I'm not letting him do his job. So he's a little annoyed with me. I just grab all of the dirty stuff, just pretty much in the same place. But like the other corner of her stall is like completely clean. Now I will still check it because sometimes there is stuff underneath it. Just in case anything is wet in this little pile, I flip it all over so then I can see if something is wet. Normally it isn't, it also gets the shavings moving so that they don't get packed. In the cold weather, sometimes they get a little frozen. With her, because her stall obviously is not as big as Duke's, when I'm done her stall, I scrape everything, basically the back half of her stall, so that, because she likes to drag her hay from that corner where the camera is, all underneath her water bucket, all the way into the door of her stall, and then spread it out from there. So to prevent her from eating shavings, along with her hay, and not feeling well, I scrape it all into the back, let it sit there, and then she'll spread it out pretty much to the front of her stall by the morning. So on to Jack's stall then. Jack's stall, when I set it up, didn't see how bad it was. Basically with his, I come into the middle and I chuck everything from the middle straight up because not just the middle, like I kind of scrape in from the edges a little bit. Just all the stuff that I can tell right away is really just wet shavings. I grab all that right away. And then once I have a little pile, I just start throwing it out. I don't really care if I get stuff on the ground because I'll I'll sweep it up and like I'll scrape it up and then I'll sweep. Um, it's more of a just getting it out and fast so that it still doesn't take me forever. So all the stuff's out of the middle now. And once I have that, I'll go around the edges and typically I do the door first so that it's all empty. I'll slowly work my way around, sorting through bit by bit until I get to the wall. I do that all the way around, and then I'm done as well. Because every day I hold a little bit of hope that he didn't make his stall that disgusting, but every day I'm wrong. There's some stuff underneath his water, but he did not get anything in his water. That is good. Because it's cold and I don't want to be sitting with my hands in freezing cold water cleaning the bucket. I'd do it. I really would, but I don't want to. Because my hands would be cold. Julia to his home! And then when we do jack so we scrape it into the center of the thing. That's because the jack will spin. Um, like he'll just kind of turn around a lot and spread his stuff to the wall and then he's right in the middle. So if we were to just let it sit all over the skull, he'd just spin the shavings out a lot faster and there would be literally puddles in his stall and there's nothing but you need more shavings so I'll grab those right now yeah stalls are done one load I was right <laughs>